Playmakers. Okay. Auto my wrist, count of the spin it, man at the coop, mine with no tennis, chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some What's up y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So this is gonna be a very unique and special video. Um let's play a game of what's in the box. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a hint. Whatever it is, it's one of one. Or rather, should I say, one of five. But I have all five. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm excited for this. I've wanted this for a very, very, very long time. Since, when was Honda Day back in Jersey? That was like 2017, 2016. The fam's with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trey Jr. That's not his real name, though. <laughs> but, um, yeah. With that being said, let's get this joint opened up. I'm excited. You are looking at, to my knowledge, the first ever clear hood for the 1992-1996 Honda Prelude. Oof. These joints is wet. Literally. Literally wet. <laughs> but nah, they wet though. Oof. That is sick. That's crazy. You know how long I've wanted one of these on my car? All right, so the goal here is to weigh one of the hoods. So I weigh 214.6. Don't judge, don't judge. What I'm gonna do is just hold it. I'm actually gonna pick up the hood and hold it while I lay myself again. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the hoods weigh 17 pounds. That's not bad. Um, <laughs> I do, I'm about to basically take my OEM hood off and test fit one of the clear hoods. I know for a fact that the OEM hoods, like, it's gotta be like 80 to 90 pounds. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold the OEM hood like I just did that one. I'm gonna try. Let's see what how much that one weighs. All right, so I might have hyped it up. Apparently the OEM hood is 43 pounds. The clear hood is 17 pounds. I guess it's because of how awkward the shape is. All right, so now that I have the old hood off, I'm missing some of my carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber, <laughs> carbon fibre. Uh, now nah, I'm gonna put some uh, stuff back on 
because I'm gonna do like a little mini photo shoot real quick with this on. And of course the bay is not the cleanest, but I'm gonna do my best to correct that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this new joint on. So obviously it's, it's not bolted up yet. It's kind of just sitting there. But ooh wee, goodness gracious, that's tough. Ooh. Yeah, once I bolt this joint in, oh my. was a problem I'm still working on my album predict the outcome showing just like a falcon pimping since been pimping hoes all way out south and moonwalking in my socks screaming fuck the cops they trench up my old block yo search for gallons of the PCP pocket beats and we bouncing straight to some CCP Argentina flexing hard John Cena, Freaky Tina, look so right up in that white beamer. 50,000 hours in a hole. Thanks to my lawyer, I'm you know saying? Hey. So, as you can see, I got the uh, clear hood test fitted. This thing is, this thing is freaking sick, bro. I don't care what nobody says. I've always, I've wanted one of these since 2016. I went to Honda Day in Jersey. My very first Honda Day, and I saw a Civic with one. I saw two Civics. With one, and I was like, man, I didn't even know that was a thing. And I've wanted one ever since then. Now I finally got it. So I wanted to show you guys a few things. I know a few questions are gonna come up um, as far as like fitment, can I daily drive it, what materials it made of, how much does it weighs. So I'm basically gonna run through all that real quick. So you can see that's what it like roughly test fitted on there. I got it bolted up to the hinges, um, but in order to in order to uh, correctly have this installed, you will need to run um, hood pins. So um, if you do get a hood, it will come with the hardware. So you can see like here, how it's kind of like bowed up. But once you put the hood pins in, the hood pins will basically suck it down and make it flush. So that's why that looks like that i know i know that's the first thing why is there a huge gap right there well for you people who are asking that or are going to ask that the hood pins is what's going to keep that flush so um the all the hoods will come with hardware standard hardware personally um this is like the traditional hood pin setup Personally, I'm gonna be running uh, the push style. Um, if you want the hood and you want the push style, you know, that's something you're gonna have to get on your own. But they do have that on Amazon. It's not hard to get. But, sheesh. This joint looks so good, bro. Oh my God, I waited so long for this. It's ridiculous. All right, so. Um, questions. How much does it weigh? So first off, the OEM hood weighs about 50 pounds roughly, like 47 pounds. I know because I just weighed it. Um, the clear hood weighs about 16, 17 pounds. Um, considerably lighter, more than half less. Um, it is made out of a 
a form of plexiglass. Um, I couldn't tell you what ply or what grade. That's kind of like top secret info. I didn't even get that information. Um, what else? Uh, can you daily it? Um, that's up for debate. Uh, I do have five hoods currently. One is going to be for me, or two are for me. One I'm going to basically post up and I'm just going to keep it in the cut. And then I'm going to actually do most of my testing on the other one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to personally test whether it can withstand daily driving conditions. Um, I don't see why not with hood pins. Um, it is pretty flexible. Um, I mean, you rather want it flexible than hard because the harder it is, the more likely it is to crack. That's just my guess. Like I said, I didn't physically make these. I just am a distributor for it. So um, I am also a customer as well. Um, it is, with that being said, it is actually made for shows. Um, the intention was not for you to be able to daily drive it. Um, but from the manufacturer, he said that exactly what I'm about to tell you is that it is mostly for show, like actual shows and, sh you know, events and things like that. Um, but he does have a few customers that daily drive theirs as well. Um, I would assume they're not putting like crazy amount of miles. Like if your Prelude is your daily driver, I probably would not recommend daily driving with this hood like that much. Um, but again, I'm going to do some testing. Um, the temperature rating on it is 200. I have to go back. He did it in Celsius. It sent to me in Celsius, but the the uh, um, conversion was like 267 degrees. So I think the average temperature of motors are normally, at least the coolant, are normally about 195 to 204 to 205. Um, however, I do have a turbo, and the turbo does get way hotter than the motor but i'm assuming with a turbo blanket i'll be okay um but yeah 267 degrees before you start to see uh it deform or soften enough to deform um i think that should be all the questions that i got um if you have any other questions just ask me i'll answer them but yeah, whew, sick. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, count of the spinning. Man at the coupe, mama no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some 